shit. I already see a guy, they're probably pretty low that I see a truck too. Oh, fuck it, I gotta use my own piercing shots. Oh my god, how did I miss you? Some guys leaked over to, towards G. Oh my god. Oh no! He had missiles! Dude, the star hell is on fire. He has like a thing behind him. I think he's got an. Oh dude! You could get the fast Jeep and. Um, I don't know how to say, but you attach an AA to the back of it, like a stationary one. And then you have someone run the AA, and then you could have like, you could be like super fast with the AA. I think that would be epic. Uh, 50 cal on it though, basically. Be kill a bomber with a bomber. What's up? Yo. Hi, how are you? So, uh, Curie, do you think you would have good knowledge of uh, REITs? Real Estate Investment Trust. Um, I not much, so much trust, but I would probably have like a good understanding of real estate. Yeah, you know, I, I was interested in adding uh, real estate trusts to my portfolio. Because of the high yield, which kind of fits in nicely with uh, my leverage, but then I found out Exxon Mobil pays a six percent dividend, and they never they never dropped it. I don't know, but the revenue is going down, so I don't know how they're gonna smoke it. I I would be careful of buying into the housing market right now. Yeah, that's easy. Everybody um, says that. Everybody says that. Yeah. No. I, like, I agree, like, everyone always is, is scared, but, like, I do have a feeling like we are about to hit a recession, and, like, we're oh, definitely we already hitting. Are. But, like, it's gonna get bad, like, just, like, the amount of money that, like, people are paying for you housing. You think rents are gonna go down? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because with real estate investment trusts, it's, uh... I, 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 I think like what's gonna happen is like there's gonna be a bunch of people that are have like all these homes and stuff and aren't gonna be able to pay them off and like the banks are basically like gonna buy out all these homes and like there's gonna be like all these cheap homes on the market that like are for clothes but like I have a feeling interest rates are gonna go up. Interest? No, cause they, they, they can always be uh... Suppressed by the central bank yeah. at all costs if they want to. I, I agree, but I have a feeling there's like only so much suppression you can do, isn't there? Technically, um, there isn't a hard limit. What you might have though is. I guess hyperinflation, but even then you could keep it at zero if you wanted to. Like technically they can do it, and I, I think like they, they, they would. I, I get what you mean, but like they could, but like I think the consequences would be pretty severe. Like if, like, if, like if we inflated our dollar. 
Yeah, but what's the alternative, right? I mean, if they raise interest rates in an economy that has more and more debt, that is People very uh, recessionary. I know, but it, 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 it might be unavoidable. Yeah, maybe. But I, I, I agree. Like, I, I really do like real estate, and I think it's a good thing to get into. It's just right now with like COVID. I don't know, I had this like crazy epiphany the other day that like the states are on like a brink of like a civil war. <laughs> what? No dude, everyone's a pussy. They're, just, they're not gonna fight no, for shit. I, I agree they're pussies and shit, but like the thing is like if you like look at like where most of like our food comes from, like, these, like, vegetables, like it comes from like California. And it was like What? I think we are a net producer of food and we have a ton of arable land per capita. We do, but like we only produce certain foods. Like we only produce like greens. Yeah, we can um, develop greens. But like the thing is, like that's like people are not going to be satisfied with just like bread. Like okay. this is like the 21st century. Like people want like their lettuce, their tomatoes, their avocados and stuff. And okay. like the the problem is, is they basically shut off all the water to all those farms. So what farms? Toronto? No, no, in like the states. California. California, I think it's Idaho. It's like all Shit. those like. I hope they don't make the chicken. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, it's like where most of our like vegetables come from. Okay. And like our fruits. So like, in like a crazy hypothetical sense, like if people are gonna revolt, it's probably gonna be due to like food scarcities. And it does seem like a lot of Americans are quite upset by the price of rising foods. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know, that was just my theory. I, they're, I, I, they're divided, so... But yeah, dude, there's even more reason for a civil war, isn't it? I don't like know, because so me, I see yeah, only one side wants to be violent, and the other just wants to appease, so... Unless both sides want to fight, I don't see much happening. Anyway, if you think there's a civil war, who do you think is gonna come on top? Do you think it's gonna be a communist dictator, or do you think it's gonna be the, uh... Oh, I think it's gonna be, like, the South. Honestly, the absolutist. hands down, like, it'd be the South that would, like, come out if there was a civil war. The South. Oh, you mean, like, a sec secessionary war? Like, a civil war, like, people versus, like, people. No. What do you mean, the South? Okay, what does he mean, the South comes out? You mean, like, the state well, separate? Well, it's it's more sorry. I, I I should have been more clear. It's more like the South ideology, like the like the Trump's movement, which I feel it's more in the South, or at least like in the countries. Sorry, I should have been more careful with my words. Rob, um, they need these guys need a better name. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the warriors. We'll call them the the warriors, collective warriors, the nationalists. Oh yeah, the nationalists. There you go. That 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 I think that that is pretty accurate. They are group Darwinists, yeah, nationalists. They I think they're the Come biggest on. faction. You have the communists and the nationalists. My faction is so small. I'm gonna have to go to an airport and fuck off. Yeah, uh, that's front. Yeah, I don't understand. You know, I've heard that the the nationalists, the like, are, are patient until they're not. But I, I, I just, I don't know, man. I have to be one of them to understand it because I don't see the not part. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. Oh. But yeah, if you like went into real estate, like what kind of real estate would you like? Well, I was thinking, uh, you know, residential, you know, people pay their rents. The rents pay for more than the uh, interest on the mortgage. Oh, uh, so like you're almost like talking like a burr. The what? Uh, I think it's called the burr method. It's uh, buy, invest, refinance, no. or refurbish. No, no, I'm investing in REITs. Most of them have 50% leverage. So I'm, uh, you know. Or is it 100% leverage? I, I don't right. remember. Cause I forget if it's 50% uh, uh, like debt to equity or is it 50% debt to assets? Like I don't even, that's, I don't know what I was seeing. I just know it's 50%. <laughs>
I don't even know what you're talking about, but okay, 50% sounds good. Sounds like a lot of numbers. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, the, the point is that it's not as leveraged as if you bought a house with 25% down. Oh, you, you mean that the amount of money that you put in from the start, you can invest more because there's more people? No, no, it's just not as leverage. Uh, well, I'm just investing in a company that, that has real estate and has tenants. Okay. And, and that's it. That, that's like cap rate. You know cap rate? I know I've seen a bunch of cap rates around here. No, I even rented from them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're like a, like a stock company, but they own like huge buildings with a lot of uh, tenants. Okay. Apartment complexes. You know, that kind of thing. And I, I like data center, and I think, uh, what, what was the other one I was interested in? The, um, when you uh, store stuff. Oh, like storage? You know? Yeah, yeah, like the, the women who like to hoard all their stuff, you know, and Dude, let go. that is huge. I, I was talking <laughs> to, like, some financial advisor about that, and they were, like, telling, like, yeah, like, that's, like, actually really big. That surprised me, and also something else surprised me was the dollar store. Also, apparently, is like a really good stock to invest in. Yeah, I mean the the store, the storage. Um, it, it it gave superior returns, but I think, from what I read anyway, like I don't really have it informed of it. <coughs> but uh, it's uh, it's it's a thing of the past. Like it's probably not going to be superior from now on. Why is that? that? Is it just like it's people are already in on the game? Yeah, no, like the, the market's already uh, invested, whatever had to be invested. And, uh, it's ahead of the game now. But like 30 years ago, they gave Spear returns till now. You know? and, and if you were to do it personally, I also heard benefits because you don't have to deal with the laws. Like, objects don't have rights. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, and I, I wanted to stay away from. Well, a lot of this stuff might be priced in, but I wanted to stay away from commercial because I don't. I don't even believe in, in office space. Like I'm a work from home kind of guy. And whatever. Yeah. Uh, also, I don't. I don't buy the stuff. From in person, I, I order it from Amazon. <laughs> so if people uh, became more like me, they, they would be crushed. Um, yeah, no, I worked for a, a design build company this like for the past couple of years, and they on the side they like kind of side hustle, kind of like what you're interested in. Um, and apparently, real estate, um, like commercial. It's the most rewarding, but apparently it's like the hardest. It's the most what? It's the most rewarding because it's like, it, it's once you get tenants in. Yeah, because of the high like risk. Tenant, um, but it's usually just really hard to get like a good business in from the start. Right, well, once there's a the mall and you get the clients, it all comes together. But if there's nothing to begin with, Get the network effects going, I think. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's a bit harder to fill the space than it would be to fill. Yeah. As someone who's not invested in uh, real estate, I, it looks kind of good on the outside when the rents, you know, kind of keep up. Uh, grow faster or at the same speed as the interest rate on the mortgage. It makes a lot of sense, at least yeah. from a leverage point of view. But only because of the leverage, because other investments have higher rates of return. So, it, you know, I think it's a good investment if you have a lot of income and no assets. Like you just got a really good job, you never saved any money, and now you want to get into it. And the reason is you can take a lot of risk and your downside is limited to basically bankruptcy. Whereas if you already had assets like me, I, I have a lot more to lose than my investment in the house. Because they'll take not just my house, but everything else I have with it. So I can't just, you know, 
leverage to the but max. There's, so we knew there's there's ways that you can separate your business from your your personal stuff. So if you do declare bankruptcy, you don't lose all your finances, is, isn't there? Mm, well, I guess I could put my investments in my own run Actually, that would work. Well, well, like, let's say you were, like, you were investing, um... Sorry. Having fun? Oh, yeah. you gotta kill that guy, he's gonna kill us. You, are, you can also switch, if he goes up, take the other seat. Oh crap, I didn't get another... pair. He's off us? I think he died, he got AA or something. I saw a uh, piece of him. I think. Ah oh, damn, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I lost the two, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was talking about rents. They, they grow and how it makes uh, with the leverage and bankruptcy and he said that it was possible to separate business and then I said something about the relatives like these relatives to oh, oh separating shit. um yeah cause if you like let's say like you had like all your investments under like your company if like your company like you created like a business to like flip homes or something. Mm -hmm. If you ever lost, um, like if you ever like had to declare bankruptcy, like your all your personal assets would be secure. But, um, son of a Churchill gun carrier. At the same time, too, though, don't take any financial advice because, like, understand it but to my understanding having assets would make it easier to get into the real estate market wouldn't it because you could like leverage those assets to thanks not really we care about that. assets unless they can be collateralized like even stocks they wouldn't care about because but they're like, more volatile they can rely so, on them so you so the bank you're saying that the banks don't care because like it's not reliable so they they yeah. won't put as much weight to it yeah, I called for to, to I was interested in, in personal loans, and uh, they they like they didn't care. <laughs> I had they need they only care about income. They don't care about uh, you know, if you have like a stock portfolio or something. Hmm. I mean, you can that well you can get the cheapest interest rates on on margin from a stock portfolio cheaper than a, a, a line of credit on a home equity line. But uh, the thing is, this yeah. isn't. If you have assets though that you own, you can take a line of credit out against it, can't you? It's not like a per se a loan, isn't it? With different? a broker. With a broker, you uh, can uh, you can borrow against your stocks and withdraw the money. But okay. uh, you, yeah, yeah. But I, let me think. Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah, you could withdraw yeah. quite a bit, but the thing is, you you can get liquidated. Whereas with a home, if your home equity goes below, I think the worst that happens is, like, they can't force you to sell your home. I think maybe you 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 can't borrow anymore. That's for sure. And I presume you have to start paying down your loan. But you can do that if you do if you leverage stocks. You can't do that. They'll liquidate. Them. So you don't get the option of, you know, hey, I'll pay it with my paychecks, you know. Just wait. That's why the interest rate is so low, because they don't have to worry about basically anything. True. They charge, interactive brokers charge is 1.5% over the, over, well, zero right now. And if there was more competition, I bet they could get it even lower than that. And I, of course, borrowed the maximum. Why not? Well, they only let you borrow, well, me anyway, they only let me borrow like 100% of the assets. So they have to go down like 50% some time before they go down, like they go down 45% or 40%, I start to get 
it starts to slowly like deleverage, liquidate, which would be at an unfavorable price. And you have to factor in that risk. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the lower the price, the less likely that it goes lower. So you kind of figure out a bell curve. You know, maybe there's like a 3, 5, 10% chance it gets liquidated. And when it does, uh, it's only a portion of it that does anyway. Ah, okay. They have to be like um, immune to, to changes. To the to the volatility. So like if you're down like you know if it's down like twenty percent and you're down forty percent, you have to. You know that's what you signed up for. True. So you gotta be pretty damn sure that it's not gonna go lower. In advance. Uh. Because if the proposition change, otherwise the proposition changes to like, oh, if it goes that low, I think we did everything at a lower price. It's not worth it. Oh my god, what the fuck? There we go. Can you uh, repair? Yep. Okay, I'll slow down a little. Out. Oh yeah, that's when this they're trying to they're trying to bring it back. They're doing decent. Mosquito. I wonder what he hit me, hit, hit us with. Uh oh, this is really close. Mm, maybe. This is pretty close. Yeah, I don't know. You, you, oh, we have a good spot on our friend. He has a spawn with medic. Show him a med. Do you want to bring in a super tank? Too late, sorry. Yeah. Fuck, I keep falling. Screw this. Here. Fuck. Got him. Nah, nah, he's close. I got oh, there's another oh, one? No, yeah. Can't really do long range with this gun, so. Them. Keep going. Get a little closer, because I'm crazy. There's a sniper there on the left. I'm gonna wreck it, just hitting it on C. Prepare that AA. Yeah, I don't want to go near him though, because that artillery. Oh. oh shit! Oh, I got killed. It, I think I think we're gonna win. Yeah, we got a. Uh, we still have double the tickets, and we have more flags, but it's very close still. I got you. I got you. Let's save that one last ticket. Oh. Ow. Make sure you can't get the AA working. Should be Where's close to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around here. Just. Uh, oh shit. Like right here, where I am, look around, sh sh pop, when you have your tool. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, only you can do it, I think. Alright. What's up? Oh, oh shit, I got sniped. I don't think you have smoke. Uh, the tank is gonna take out the recon, you can revive us. 
that's it, victory. Hey, fearless leader, use those assets. Hey, fearless leader, I think I fell behind the rock. Alright, I'm gonna... I could call a B2, but I don't know where. Maybe Delta? Call it quick, whatever you're... Fuck it, I'm gonna do... Fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck. I can't, I can't get an aim on it. And I'm gonna die. Oh! I, I when I saw that coming, I was like, uh, so <laughs> uh, we got the six tickets. I mean, unless they like all collectively become a hive mine, we'll be fine. Oh my god, I got screwed there. Nice. <laughs> all right, nice good game. game. Yeah, man, that was fun. Yeah, I got the sleepiness coming. Perfect. Yeah. All right. See you. Uh, um, see you again. Yeah, man. You have a good night. Take